Hey guys, um, I'm going to post a little bit of a different video today. Um, I've given you know specific marathon programs and specific half marathon programs, cross country programs. I've even given half marathon and marathon workouts. What I haven't done yet is given uh, 5K workout options and 10K workout options. A lot of people run, you know, lots of 5Ks and 10Ks, um, and we're coming into cross country season in the fall now. So if you happen to be a coach and uh, want some additional options, uh, I'm, I think you may have. Uh, quite a few of them here, which I think would be very helpful. Um, in addition, what I would encourage you to do uh, if you're not a coach or if you're just training yourself is if you have a specific goal, um, I would encourage you to give yourself a little bit of a time period, what they call it a season, plug in the races that you want to run and then plan the training around the races. Um, that is a good way of kind of designing your training. I know it's sometimes life gets in the way, work gets in the way, babies and whatever, <laughs> a lot of stuff gets in the way. Um, but at least it gives you some structure on how to lay out your training, and it makes it easily, easily modifiable. And that's kind of the way how I laid out my training programs as well. So I do encourage you to take a look at them. So let's get into this. Here's some 5K workout options, all right? Um, early season first. I have a 400 progression workout, okay? First of which is 10 by 400 meters um, at current 5K pace. The rest periods are going to be 30 seconds to 45 seconds after each rep, depending on the fitness level of your athletes or yourself, okay? Second of which is going to be 13 by 400 meters, three more reps, and then it's going to go from current 5K pace down to goal 5K pace. You can progress through the workout uh, however you best see fit. Third of workout is going to be 16 by 400 meters, same 30 to, uh, to 45 second recovery, and that's going to be all at goal 5K pace. So let's say you started out the season at 1640 for 5K, which is 80 seconds per 400. That's where your first workout would be, and your goal, and you're working your way towards 1540, which is 75 seconds per rep. Well, then you have your progressions right there. Your 80s for that workout, 80 to hook down to 75 for the second one, and 75 for the third one. This is a workout that I encourage you to do every three to four weeks. Um, give yourself some time in between the workouts so that you have time to do a block of training and develop your aerobic fitness along the way. Three weeks is probably a good sweet spot, okay? every three weeks. Next one I have threshold running, which is an important part of uh, training specifically for 5K and 10K and cross country races, um, as well as half marathon and marathon, but for these purposes we'll stick right here. Uh, the first one is threshold 1,000 meter reps, six to eight of them with a one minute recovery. This is different than running six to eight by race pace 5K reps, um, okay, um, because, or 10K pace reps. They take longer to recover from uh, and they will require a longer rest period of two to three minutes in between, potentially even longer for some people. Uh, whereas threshold reps, you slow the pace down, you're allowed to, it allows you to do more volume in a non-invasive way, and also allows you to come back in 48 to 72 hours to do another workout should you want to do that. Okay. Then we progress towards thre uh, threshold 1,200 meter reps. The pace is going to stay the same, but the reps get a little bit longer, okay? The rest period is going to be a minute 15 after each rep as opposed to a minute for the thousands, and you have five to seven reps. So you're generally between 6,000 meters and a little over 8,000 meters in total volume um, when you're training for a 5K for threshold uh, running, okay? And then we build up towards threshold mile reps, four to five of them, Okay, with a 130 recovery at the same exact pace as the 1200s and the thousands, you're gradually adding more volume at threshold pace. So you're staying in the threshold zone a little bit longer each time. And this is also a workout that you can alternate every couple of weeks. Okay, and I would start with the thousand and then work towards the twelves and then work towards the miles as you get fitter. Okay, now tempo runs, another very important part of training for anything. Okay, um, four to six miles in duration for a 5K workout, but again, if you happen to be a high school coach, if you need to build up towards that, you know, you do two times a mile, and then two times a mile and a half, then two miles, and three miles, and two times two miles, and four miles, however you need to build it for certain athletes is how you need to build it. Your experienced and more fit athletes, and as well as yourself, will be able to do more continuous tempo over time. But let's say four to six miles of continuous running here as a tempo pace, and then I like to incorporate some speed development at the end. Okay, whether it be four to six by 200 meters with a jog equal recovery at 3K pace, six to eight by 150 meters with a jog equal recovery at 3K to mile pace, five, uh, three to five by 300 meters at jog equal recovery, 3K to mile pace, or 
8 to 10 by 100 meters with a jog equal recovery at mile, from mile to 800 meter pace. So just turnover work at the end simulates turning over and kicking um, when you're fatigued. And it's also good to do this work when the heart rate is up from doing the tempo run already. So it's a good aerobic boost. You may or may not notice here, a uh, reason I have it set up the way this way is to offer you a three-week cycle should you want to do that. This is a cycle that you could start mid-summer down to late summer to early season or late summer to early season to mid season, however you want to set it up. Um, but these are good early season options. So since the tempo run is going to be a little bit slower than the threshold reps, and and just I'll make I'll make one point out here. I'll uh, point one thing out. I have a video called the One Mile Time Trial, and it helps dictate your fitness or where you should be for your 3K and 5K and 800 and 400. I also have a video on how to set up your appropriate training paces based on a time trial or where your current fitness is or current race performance, which helps you set the appropriate training paces for every one of these things. I encourage you to look at both of those videos, which will make it a heck of a lot easier to set your training paces based on uh, current fitness. And the one mile time trial is definitely something I encourage folks to do prior to a uh, you know, season. Uh, it's a great preseason option in the last week of preseason or something like that. Um, it helps tell you where everybody is. Um, but I would only encourage you to do it if people have gone at least four to six or potentially six to eight weeks of running prior to it because it gives a more accurate barometer of everybody's fitness. So that being said, once you've established your training paces, you could do a tempo run week one, threshold Ks week two, 10 by 400 week three, and then go back and repeat. Tempo week four, threshold 1200s week five, 13 by 400s week six. And then repeat that again. It's completely up to you, but it gives you a layout that you could do for at least one workout per week. And then you can either incorporate a race as the second effort or another hard workout or something, a tempo or progression run or something, a uh, rolling long run, however you want to do it on a non-race week. I definitely encourage two hard efforts per week. Uh, I, I generally like to avoid two hard efforts and a race um, unless it's absolutely necessary or unless the second effort is somewhat of a lower volume speeded on, but that's just my personal opinion. Completely up to you what to do as a coach. Okay, let's go to the mid-season now. This is a good workout because you, you, now, now that you're starting to approach some invitational races, the races start getting faster, people go out harder, people finish harder, people make moves of all kinds, and you're running, you're just running against you know the higher level athletes here. Um, whether it be on the road or in cross country, it doesn't really matter. Um, two sets of 1,200, 800, 400. This is a great workout because it gets progressively faster and then you repeat it. The 1200 rep is going to be a 5K pace with a 3-minute recovery. The 800 rep is going to be a 3K pace with a 2-minute recovery. And then you run the 400-meter rep at mile pace. And then you take 6 to 8 minutes of active recovery in between the, in between the sets. And then you repeat that workout again. You repeat uh, the same set. Okay, It's a great progression workout. Another one is 1,000, by 1,000, then a 400, 1,000, 400, 3 to 4 times. I like to do four times for 5K athletes, um, but if you happen to be training for 4K in high school, three sets is sufficient, but it depends on the fitness. Uh, it really depends on fitness and ability level. 1,000 meter efforts are going to be a 5K pace, 400 meter efforts at mile pace. Okay, You take a 200 meter jog in between each, and then you repeat continuously. Okay, What this does is it helps you get used to changing paces, accelerating and then settling, accelerating and settling. So it's a good race readiness or a good uh, way to get used to responding to moves or making moves, whether it be you or your athletes. Um, next workout is, a, this is a great workout actually, um, two sets of 4 by 800 meters or 3 to 4 by 800 meters depending on fitness levels and age. Okay, The first set's going to be uh, 3 to 4 by 800 meters with a one minute recovery at threshold pace, the same threshold pace you run those longer, the, the Ks, the 12s, and the miles. Then you take a, uh, an 800-meter jog or six to eight minutes of active recovery. You do the second set at 5K goal pace, race pace, you know, or, or progress from current race pace to goal pace. Three to four reps with a two-minute recovery. Okay, so one-minute recovery the first set, two-minute recovery in the second set. It's progressively faster again. And then I have nine to 10 by 600-meter um, efforts with a 200-meter jog at 5K pace. I don't know a lot of people who do 600s, but they're a great number a great hotspot because you can easily jump over to do uh, from 8 to 600, 8 by 600 to 6 by 800. But it's also a great way of progressing from 400s, you, then you can go up to 500s, and you can go up to 600s, and if you do them all at goal race pace, you're gradually doing more and more and more, 
and you're positioning yourself to run exactly what you want to run. Okay, um, that's a great progression workout as well. It's a great mid-season. It's just a continuous rhythm workout, and you can go from current to goal 5K pace, or you can even run your last rep a little bit faster, which you will see in a little bit. Okay, late season. Okay, now we're talking about the last four weeks or so, and you really want to be sharp. You do a 2K at goal 5K pace. Okay, or five laps on the track a mile and a quarter. Five to six minutes of active recovery. Three by 800 meters with a three-minute recovery at 3K pace. Okay, so good hard efforts. And then three by 400 meters with a 90-second recovery or 130 at mile pace. Okay, this is a real good sharpening workout. Then the next one, either be a second time doing this workout or for your older, fitter athletes, um, more experienced athletes, a 3K at goal 5K pace five to six minutes recovery. It's always going to be active recovery. Then a thousand meter effort with a three minute recovery at 5k pace or a little faster. And then three to four by 500 meter efforts with a 200 meter jog at 3k pace. Okay. If you can go down from 5k pace to 3k pace towards the end of the race, you're going to be in good shape. Okay. And then eight by 600. So instead of eight, nine to 10, we drop it down to eight by 600 with the same 200 meter recovery. At 5K pace down to 3K pace, like I mentioned before, so it's a little bit faster. Okay, and again, you could do eight, you could do six by 800 as well. It's completely up to you. That's another great option as well. And the last one I have here, this is similar to a workout that's called the Michigan, uh, but there's a little bit of a difference here. Okay, in the traditional Michigan workout, um, you take basically a mile jog or do a, a threshold mile or tempo type tempo pace mile in between each effort. I don't necessarily have that here particularly for high school athletes, but again, it's completely up to you. I have a mile at 5K pace or goal 5K pace um, with an 800-meter jog recovery, a 1,200-meter effort at 5K down to 3K pace with a 600-meter jog recovery, an 800 at 3K pace or a little faster with a 400-meter jog recovery, and then a 400 as fast as you can go at the end. So the recovery is half the distance of the rep. You could also do this mid-season and do equal jog recovery to keep the volume a little higher and then come back and repeat it and try to run it a little bit faster with less recovery. That's completely up to you, but that's a nice progression as well. Okay, so those are some 5K options. And I'm going to take this down. Let's go to the 10K now. Okay. 10K races could be for um, college cross country um, or just running 10Ks. Um, if your goal is to run a fast 10K season, here's some great options. Um, and this would also be for great 8 kilometer, obviously, for most college, most collegiate programs. Okay, So, early season, an 8 to 10 mile tempo run. This is something you can repeat 2 to 3 times as well. Okay, You can either do it during the season, or start mid-summer, late summer, early, or early uh, late summer, early season, mid-season, completely up to you, depending on what you feel you need and what you feel your athletes need. Um, it'll be at the appropriate tempo pace, and you can even go six to eight miles and then work your way up, or six, then eight, then ten. It's however you lay out your athletes and based on everybody's needs. Some might do less, some might do more. Okay, at the appropriate tempo pace. And then five by fifties to turn over towards at the end afterward. And then here's another 400 meter uh, progression sequence as well. This is a little bit of a different block because we're training for 10K now, so the volume's higher. First one is 12 by 400 meters. 30 to 45 seconds recovery at current 10K pace, okay? Um, 16 by 400 meters a second time, the same recovery, 30 to 45, from current 10K down to goal 10K, okay? And then the last one is 20 by 400 with 30 to 45 seconds recovery from goal 10K down to current 5K pace, okay? So let's just say uh, 31 minutes and change, or 31.10, um, which is 75 seconds or basically five minutes per mile is the current, and let's say 30 minutes is the goal, which is 448 per mile. You're going to progress from 75 seconds down to 72 um, per along the way. Or if it's, let's say, 37.30, which is six minutes per mile, um, and you want to come down to run about a little over 34 minutes, which is 530 per mile, you've got your 90-second progression. 82.5 second progression, depending on where you're at and how you want to lay it out, but it's, it should be a progression over time, okay? And this is something you can repeat every three weeks or however you want to lay it into your training, but I would give a few weeks after each one, okay? Let's go to mid-season now. First option is four to five by two kilometers with a 230 recovery. Um, you can either progress from threshold efforts 
to race pace progressions over time, or the fit your athletes are, if this is a, a workout you want to repeat later on, you can do them all at goal race pace, or from current to goal race pace, however you want to do it. But 2K efforts are a nice staple for a 10K, okay? And then you do four to five by 200 meters at the end with a, two, with a jog equal recovery. Good turnover work afterward. I definitely encourage some kind of turnover work uh, after long repeat, long repeat workouts or threshold or tempo runs. Um, the next one, similar to the workout I gave before, the two sets of broken down pieces. This is two sets of 2,400, which is 1.5 miles, then 1,600, then 800. So it's twice the distance of the reps before times two sets, which gives you six miles of volume instead of three. Okay, So it's 1.5 miles, one mile, half a mile. Okay, so you're going to run the 2,400-meter effort at 10K pace, take a four-minute recovery, the 1,600-meter at 5K pace with a three-minute recovery, and then the 800-meter rep at 3K pace, then you take a six- to eight-minute active recovery, um, jog at least half a mile or so, um, and then you repeat the set. Great mid-season 10K workout. Um, gives you an opportunity to kind of lay out some different pace levels and get used to the fitter, um, faster athletes and make yourself one as well. And similar to another workout that I had before in the 5K, in the 5K segment, this is two sets of 4 by 1,000 instead of 4 by 800. So the first set is going to be 4 times 1,000 at threshold pace with a 1-minute recovery. And then the second set is going to be 4 times 1,000 at 10K uh, pace down to 5K pace progression with a 2-minute recovery. Okay, First set of threshold, second set of race pace. Okay, It's... it's it's a great way of getting in quality work, and I like mid-season because I like to do trans. I call them transitional workouts. You get some threshold, some race pace stuff instead of doing eight times a kilometer or ten times a kilometer uh, mid-season where you might not be ready for it. Those are workouts that are good for later in the season as well. I want you at your most race ready towards the end of the season, so you're still catching the big races while you're on the upswing instead of doing too much hard stuff for too long and then becoming stale. Um, this is a little bit different, it's on, it, where it's different from track, where you might need to qualify early on just to get into a race, where cross-country, your qualifiers are towards the end, or certain races you don't need to qualify for, they're just fast races. And when, the, when we approach the fall season, the weather cools off, races just naturally get faster. So, okay, so back to this. Um, and then a three to four sets of 3K hard and 1K float, Okay. So 3K hard, 1K easy, 3K hard, 1K easy, three to four times, depending on the fitness level. And the 3Ks are going to be from current to goal 10K pace. The 1K is just going to be a nice steady float. As the fitter, and the fitter you get, the faster that float becomes. But it's all going to be continuous. So it's a good over-distance workout of about 12 kilometers if you do four sets. And it's just under or just at or nine kilometers if you're doing three sets. So a good, sufficient workout. 3K reps are almost two miles, so it's essentially three to four by two miles or a little bit less than that. So a good mid-season workout, uh, as well as early season as well. And let's go to the late season now. 10 by 800 meters with a two-minute recovery at your current to goal 10K pace. You can, even, you can even work down to 5K pace, okay? The reps are a little bit shorter. You can start running them a little faster. Um, and the next one is 8 by 800 so we drop it, drop it a couple reps, and you go from goal 10K pace to current 5K pace. So they get a good amount faster, but it's two less reps, same two-minute recovery. Okay. Then we have 5 to 6 by 1,000 meters with a two-minute recovery at 5K pace. Okay. A um, lot less volume, significantly, significantly faster, easier to recover from. Okay. At 5 by 300 meters afterward with a 100-meter jog at 3K pace turning over when you've already done some a hard bout of a good bout of hard running. Okay? Next one, 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles at goal 10k pace and then take a 6 to 8 minute active recovery. 3 by 600 meters with a 2 with a 200 meter jog at 5k pace and then 3 to 3 3 by 300 meters with a 100 meter jog at 3k pace so progressively faster. Okay? You want to be as sharp as you possibly can. And the last one I have here um, and I've got dozens more, but I think these would be a good starting, uh, starting point for you. This one is similar to the Michigan, but I call it a beast because I added a rep. It's a 2K mile, 1,200, 800, 400, okay? The 2K at 10K pace, a goal 10K pace with a four-minute recovery. Mile at 3K pace at about five, uh, with three-minute recovery at 5K pace. The 1,200 
with a 2 minute and 30 second recovery between 5k pace and 3k pace. The 800 meter rep with a 2 minute recovery at 3k pace. And then the 400, whatever you can run for that 400 as fast as you can, simulate um, turning over towards the end of the race. Okay, A lot of this, these workouts towards the end here are progressively faster as well. So um, that said, I hope you have some options here that you find helpful. If you find the content valuable, please click the, like, click the like button. I encourage you to click the subscribe button and then click to my name that's on the left after you click the subscribe button because then you'll have direct access to all the other videos that I posted. I posted marathon training videos, half marathon, cross-country plans for high school and college. Um, I've got boatloads of workouts, how to set the training paces appropriately based on wherever your fitness is at, all of which complement each other. So I think you'll find them quite valuable. And if you have any uh, specific questions or want to give any feedback, please leave a comment down below. My Instagram page is Black Belt Running Coach. I release a, running, a lot of running content on there as well. Um, my direct email is blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com should you need any personal guidance of a specific nature. Don't hesitate to email me. I'll be more than happy to help and I reach out and I, and I respond to posts, comments, and emails quite quickly. Um, so, again, I hope this is helpful. Um, if you're training for cross-country season, have a great season. If you're running some races in the fall, have a great fall. Utilize the stuff in the spring. Have a great spring as well. Either way, let's go get them.